Hello there, people. How's it going? My name is TRSKSS, and welcome back to the channel, people. And today, I have a brand new video for you people, all about some news we have right now going on at this very moment here. Now, actually, it did happen in the morning, but it's, like, really trending on Twitter, and I figured I should probably go ahead and make a video about it for you people that didn't actually know about this, because it's a pretty big controversy at the moment. But before I start, if you people could help get this video around and share it to as many people as possible by dropping a like rating, it would be two seconds out of your day. I'd really appreciate it so much if you guys could go ahead and do that. And also, if you people are new here, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're getting closer to 450 subscribers and then eventually 500, which will be we are half of the way to our 1000 goal, people. But anyways, people, let's go ahead and start right up into this. So as you guys know, today is actually 9-11, which is very sad because of what happened about 15 years ago today. I had a video about it earlier. If you guys want to go check it out, you can. But pretty much, as you guys probably could have guessed, since today was the 15th anniversary of 9-11, they obviously had memorials and a ceremony like to commemorate the victims and stuff in New York City today in the morning. And so because both of the presidential candidates wanted to be there and to like show their support to the public, both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump were there, which are two presidential candidates in the upcoming election here. So people, pretty much what happened is that the ceremony was going on and both the candidates were there. Everything was going as planned until Hillary Clinton started walking back to her car and then all of a sudden started to stumble. And so now this is pretty interesting because when I first saw this, I thought maybe she's like fallen or so. Maybe she stepped on an uneven surface because there's like uneven pavement and stuff in New York. Or maybe she like lost a, maybe she like rolled her ankle or something. I didn't know what was happened. But she apparently was like stumbling two times. And I actually watched a video where she kind of falls. She falls once and then her people pick her back up and then she falls again and they pick her up. And then they put her in the car. And so people were pretty concerned here because... I guess that she lost one of her shoes, and so a lot of people were, like, worried about that. All the news people reported the, that she lost a shoe, which I don't know why. But pretty much, people, if you go on Twitter right now, the third thing that's trending, or maybe it's the second or something like that, is actually hashtag Hillary's health. And it's talking about how she's a 68-year-old woman with blood clots and stuff like that, and how she apparently had pneumonia today, and that was what she blamed it on. So apparently this is what she said, that she was actually feeling overheated during the ceremony today. And I'm not really all too sure if this was true, because I don't know if it was like super hot out then. It didn't look like she was in something that would make her like feel really hot. She was in like a light blue jacket or something like that. But maybe it was like a heavyweight material and she started to like overheat or something like that. So everybody thought, all right, she just has pneumonia, and it was just kind of dismissed as, all right, she had her pneumonia, now she's back feeling better, which is all good for her. But pretty much what actually happened here is that some photos got out of her actually hugging a child of just a few hours after the, like, memorial service. So people, she, as you guys know, she supposedly has pneumonia, and what happened here is that she actually got rushed to her sister Chelsea's house, like Chelsea Clinton. It was like a hotel or an apartment or something like that. And she got rushed over to there rather than over to the hospital ER, which is where she should have went. So she went to her house and apparently she was cared for for two or so hours. And then she actually came out and exclaimed, I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling fantastic. I'm like just feeling so great today. And so people were kind of curious. How do you get over pneumonia in two hours? Like, really? If it was actually pneumonia, then how could you get over it in just those two short hours there? Now, what even had more people stirred up and confused is the fact that her pneumonia is supposedly a contagious disease. Now, I'm not sure if all pneumonia is contagious, but I would assume it is because, like, you're coughing and stuff and... I guess that you could be contagious, but I'm not a doctor, so I wouldn't really know. But apparently, Clinton's pneumonia is actually contagious. Now, as she was outside of the Chelsea, like Chelsea's apartment or whatever it was called, she actually saw a kid that ran right by her and said something about her, like something nice, I think. Or I'm not really too sure what the whole story was there, but she actually hugged the kid. And so this kid hugged Hillary Clinton 
back and of course could end up getting pneumonia if it truly is contagious and if it truly is pneumonia. So now people aren't really too sure because as you guys heard, she pretty much just had her pneumonia attack at the memorial, went to this apartment for two hours, came out, felt supposedly amazing, and then went and like embraced a kid. And so people are kind of confused here because they don't actually know if she was like faking this or if it was like an excuse for her to get out of the memorial, maybe like maybe her campaign told her to do it so that way people would feel bad for her. Maybe she was sad about the memorial so she wanted a way to get out of it. I'm not really too sure, but a lot of people have a lot of different controversies on this and they have a lot of different theories that they've been forming over on Twitter. So if you people want to go ahead and check out the controversies that these people are actually forming here, then you guys can pretty much just go ahead and head over to Twitter and you guys will see it. Hashtag Hillary's Health sitting right there in front of you. You people can scroll through all of the tweets in the world and figure out every single little thing that you guys wanted to know about Hillary Clinton. Even if you guys didn't want to know it, I'm sure it's there for you people. So anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure that you guys smash a like on it. Get this video around. It's two seconds out of your day. I'd really appreciate it. And also people, if you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we're getting closer to 450 subscribers and then we can go ahead and hit 500. I really appreciate that. But anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy. My name is TRSKSS and I'll see you guys later on and Peace.